Hello my friend, uh, thank you for being here and here I am with another video. Uh, uh, people have been asking for this kind of video and today I got time to do it and it is very important for us as a poster. It has to be with scissor. You know we use the scissor every day. We cut uh, different kind of material. Sometimes we cut the chipboard, uh, hardboard and things like that. And the thing is, when the scissor is new, it cut like nothing. You don't have to make that much pressure. You see, I have four scissors right here. I had two more, uh, but uh, this uh, four, two of those scissors are brand new. Uh, I'm going to use it today for the first time. You can see this one. It is brand new, first time that I use it. And I don't have to make too much pressure to cut it. It is a little bit expensive, but it works. It's like $80. This one is 10 inches. The one, the one where I showed you first was 12 inches long. So, um, and the system that I use, uh, you have me using are these two. This one is $80, $80, and this one is 36, something like that. But this one is so good. This one is good too, but uh, with the time, it lasts the sharp, and you have to resharpen. I'm going to show you how you can sharp a, sharpen a scissor. You know, uh, if you use a scissor that you have to uh, make a, a lot of pressure uh, with your finger to cut, that's not good. Why? Because later on you might get blister on your finger or you can get arthritis. So that's why it is very important to uh, how your scissors are sharpening. And sometimes maybe you have to take to the special place to sharpen. Or somebody might arrive to your shop. Uh, and will charge you to sharpen. So today I will give you an idea how you can sharpen your scissor by yourself. And there are a, 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 a li different kind of scissor. For example, this is to cut metal. I sharpen this scissor too. This is to cut. I only use this to cut metal. I have one more to cut uh, like a, a, a door panel board. I have another one. And this is a good scissor. I had this one is to, to cut metal. And I had this one too. So all of these scissors where they are new are so good, are excellent to cut it. But like I said at the beginning, with the time tended to lose uh, the sharp. And you have to uh, pay to sharpen or do it yourself. This is the scissor that have been lost to sharpen. And you can see I am making a lot of pressure to cut the vinyl. And this one I made pressure but not that much. This one cut but I I I I, I, I feel it that it's not it's not right. Too much pressure to cut it, to cut the vinyl. And I I am cutting vinyl without with that phone. Look this this is a hairliner material, 1A thickness. And, and you can know if your scissor has sharp when you're going to cut like phone or headliner. See? It cut, but I have to make too much pressure on vinyl. And it is not good to make a lot of pressure on the scissor. So um, that's why you ha uh, have to have uh, your scissor in a good condition. I have arthritis on my finger, that's what I take care of my scissor. Before I used to pay a uh, $15 to a guy, see, that scissor is not cutting my headliner. And I'm going to uh, make that scissor cut on the material. And you will see how I made it. See? And I don't want to make too much pressure. You can see him on there. Like I say, um, I used to pay fifteen dollars for a, a, a per, per scissor to a guy to sharp my, my scissor. You can sharp the scissor with a stone, this kind of stone. That's like an old style. 
and you just have to do it this way. You can put water on it that way. And you see it will cut after you uh, use that stone, it will cut. Not like a new one, but it will able to cut. Or you can use this kind of tool. This tool is, is like the old style tool, but it's so effective. With that tool that I just showed you, Lima tool, it is good. But, uh, um, or you can do it this way. I used to do this way. It is so effective. You just have to get a piece of wood like two by two. Then you can get uh, a screw to the table. Say so put one screw. Those, uh, those uh, screws are just to hold those wood together. Now you have to put uh, some paper. The sandpaper that you're going to put, it has to be, uh, I, I used uh, 280 and 240. And I put two layers. With on, If I put only one layer, it will work by, I, 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 my advice to you is put, just put two or three. That way you are not changing the sandpaper so often. And I put glue in there. You can see I put glue. And I let it dry a little bit. 280 is the one that I just put them on there. And it doesn't matter the sandpaper that you use can be uh, used with water. It doesn't matter. Just make sure to be 280, 240. If it is three, uh, uh, more than 380, that's okay. And I will put one more layer on top. That one is 240. And you can see him on there. I don't know if you can see. It's 240. And I put glue in there. This is just an idea that I am giving you how you can sharp uh, your scissor. And I will put some staple. Now I will uh, hold that piece with two screw. One on it end. And it's tiny steel in there. and just try one more time you see it's not cutting and the scissor is time it is not loose it is tight you can do it this way but i prefer doing this way if you if you haven't tried this way just try it and let me know in the comment section of this video if it work it will work uh, I'm going to take them apart because it is better to sharp your scissor by taking them apart. See? See? There are the two pieces. If you are just using a, a sandpaper that requires water, you can put water on it. And you can see right away is changing the color of the metal you can see it and pay attention to the color of that sandpaper it is yellow you will see in a few minutes it's changing the color why because it is eating the metal and that's what i want And it's hard to see him on there through the camera. And 
and you have to do so many ways. I would say by like two minutes, but you can tell. You see that part right there? See that thing on my finger? This is it. It is so sharp. And you can see it right there. I'm going to do a few more times. And like I said, you can do it this way. But uh, I used to do it right there on that stone. But it's not the same as, as this one. Believe me, it's not the same. And you can tell right there, that scissor is going to cut like nothing. Half inch with vinyl, half inch thickness foam with leather is going to cut. And you will notice when your scissor is sharp and then you just have to put everything back. That screw with the uh, washers and one nut that are holding those two pieces together. Don't tie it too much. And you can see right there. Sometimes you have to hit it with the hammer to your scissor. I, I remember when the guy used to charge my scissor, I paid him $15 and I saw him hitting with the hammer uh, uh, my scissor. And I say, what is he hitting? And because my scissor got bended, and you see right now, that scissor it is sharp. Look. And I am using the same material, headliner. one eight thickness headliner. like nothing that scissor will lose the sharp or uh, all depend how often do you use and what you uh, what are you using for let's try a headliner with vinyl that i i cut a lot you see and i don't make that much pressure In, it is so easy to do it so easy I got that scissor done I just removed the two screw because I'm going to show you a different way how you can sharp your scissor For this uh, method, you will need a tool, a grinder. You will need an air, that means you have to have a compressor. The grinder that I will use is this. It's a good grinder. And I will use, uh, don't use this kind of sandpaper because it is too rough. Look at, if you use like a, a, the grain 30 or 24, that's too rough. Use something fine like this, 280 or 240 300 is perfect too with this one you can uh make your scissor like brand new like brand new remember when you buy your scissor cut so smooth so nice and you don't have to make that much pressure with this technique your scissor will be uh you remember when you buy your scissor and it cuts so smooth without making too much pressure it will be like that like that so is going to connect this and start sharpening like I said you have to uh, if you never use something like this you just remember to use glasses if you never use that kind of tool before don't use it on the scissor practice it before in a piece of metal before you start using a the scissor then you just cut your scissor you hold it with one hand you can take them apart that would be excellent too but I'm not going to take them apart I show you one how you can take them apart but this one is, is not necessary then you're going to start a little by little don't do it too much because that grinder is going to eat your scissors so fast and you can see it right there it, 
same with the sand uh, remember the sand paper that I use same but I am right here I am using a tool this tool it is a uh, so effective I will say it is better than the stone and then the sandpaper. Let's see how it cut. Wow. It cut so nice. And I don't uh, did a lot, but I still doing a little bit more because I want to make sure that that sharp stay at least for, I will say for a month course if you use it to cut like carpet or he heavy duty uh, leather uh, it's not going to stay for a month I think and look how it's cut this is it it is so nice uh, this is one of the best scissors that I have used uh, the price is expensive, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit of money, but it's worth it, it is worth it. You see this scissor, is, it is not, uh, I'm going to do with this tool too. I use this scissor only to cut material. I don't use it to cut a cheat board, door panel board, nothing or those kind of material. Not even to cut some bicep, I, I cheat board. Not even for that. I use it to cut carpet. The sandpaper or the this that you are, are using, it is so important. Look at that. And before, I make a lot of pressure to cut vinyl. Let's see this. Headline, the material that the beginning didn't want to cut. And the scissor it is, not uh, it is not tight. You can see I can open a little bit because you might say, oh, it is cutting because it is, it, it is tight and before it wasn't tight. Now look, it is not tight. I can tie a little bit more and will be better but it is not tight. I say right here uh, 30 bucks, 30 dollar. Because for these two scissors, the guy will charge me 30 dollar just to sharper. This is it I'm going to use at least for a month and then later on I will sharpen again. This is a good technique, a good method. In case if you don't have a grinder, I recommend you to do that. And try it and let me know. You will see it's worth just a piece of wood with two or three layers of sandpaper. The sandpaper can be 240, 300, or 240, no less than 240. Or you can use a grinder with the same and grain or some paper and that is they sell that this they sell that too but i show you a different technique different method how you can sharp your scissor as opposed to this tool it has to be sharper uh, people were asking me for this kind of video and here you have it it is done. I just give you an idea how you can make it. If you are paying to uh, somebody to charge your scissor, well, it is time to learn how you can sharpen by yourself without spending uh, too much money. Something easy to do it and you will save money. This video is not about upholstery, but it is with, uh, it's about scissor. But scissor is related to a poster because we use it like every day. This is just an idea, my friend, that I give you how you can sharp you, sharpen your scissor. And try it and let me know in the comment section how it works. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video.